two division world champion Danny Swift Garcia says Errol the Truth Smith Jr. undefeated IBF welterweight superstar is overrated and his upcoming fight with WBC two-time world champion Showtime Sean Porter will be very very ugly stay tuned coming up next Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, hablas en de Estadio Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, two-time, two-division world champion Danny Swift Garcia gave his thoughts and breakdown of the upcoming welterweight showdown between undefeated IBF welterweight superstar Errol LaTrue Spence Jr. and two-time world champion, WBC welterweight champion, Showtime Sean Porter. Danny Garcia, who last fought, uh, Sean, he fought Sean Porter uh, two fights ago uh, for the WBC interim belt that Danny Swift Garcia lost to uh, Keith Thurman. Uh, Danny Garcia was um, undefeated until he faced Keith Thurman. He moved up from the 100, he was unified at the 140 pound division. He moved up to the welterweight division where he was, uni he was unified at the 140, as he was unified at the 140 pound division, uh, he fought the best of the best. Uh, one could argue, uh, most people would say that he avoided uh, then 140 pound, which was recognized as the boogeyman division in Victor Poe style. Uh, Terrence Bud Crawford then went on to face Victor Postal and dominate Victor Postal. Uh, with that said, you know, um, Danny Garcia, you know, um, he moved up to the welterweight division. He fought Robert Guerrero. He fought Paulie Malnagy. He became the WBC uh, welterweight champion, which made him a two-time, two-division champion, right? Um, he was unified at the 140-pound division. And then he went on to face then undefeated Keith one-time Thurman, which Keith Thurman held the WBA title. Uh, Danny Garcia held the WBC title. They went on to have a unification bout, which Keith Thurman, I thought, dominated the first half of the fight and then put it on, on cruise control the second half, making the fight closer than what it should have been. Uh, with that said, then Danny Garcia then went on to face a couple of, um, you know, uh, tune-up type of fights. And then he moved into the uh, face uh, Showtime Sean Porter because Keith Thurman got injured, uh, was inactive. You know, um, so Keith Thurman then uh, had to vacate the WBC title, right? And in doing so, vacating the WBC title, that allowed Danny Swift Garcia and Showtime Sean Porter to face off to become uh, the WBC champion, right? So Keith Thurman, uh, Danny Garcia, in between that, he had fought Brandon Rios, uh, which he TKO'd and knocked out Brandon Rios. Um, then he went into the vacant WBC belt, uh, I mean, bout with Showtime Sean Porter. Uh, he lost that fight, and then he fought, uh, as of recently, he fought in April, and he knocked out uh, Adrian Granados in uh, dramatic fashion, you know. Um, but with that said, you know, um, now he's saying that, you know, uh, Errol the Truth Spence Jr., you know, he's saying that he's overrated. You know, Errol Spence is widely regarded as the boogeyman in the welterweight division, but as of late, uh, you see more and more guys coming out saying that, um, speaking his name, you know, before, you know, Guys didn't have too much to say about regarding regarding fighting Errol Spence. You know, uh, they were bypassed to say, you know, he has some work to do. He has to build up his name, so on and so forth. But now, as of late, you, you're seeing guys, um, you know, start to um, mention him more and more. Now, Danny Garcia is saying he's overrated, you know, uh, and um, he's not afraid to fight him. And his fight coming up with Showtime Sean Porter for the unification bout, the IBF and the WBC belts will be on the line stating that, you know, um, the fight is going to be very, very ugly. You know, um, it's going to be a rough fight, but it's going to be ugly. Uh, it's not going to be too many clean punches landed. And uh, he believes Errol Spence is going to come away with the victory. But Showtime Sean Porter definitely has an opportunity to win the fight. Um, I find it real ironic that you get a lot of these guys. Uh, we've seen Sean Porter come out and said that he's been wanting to fight Errol Spence. Uh, we see Keith Thurman say that, you know, um, he planned on fighting Errol Spence somewhere down the line. You know, uh, he had a plan until he just lost to Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, eight division Filipino superstar boxer, and lost his WBA belt, right? Now Manny Pacquiao is a regular champion. Manny Pacquiao is stating that 
he's looking to be ringside at showing Porter versus Errol Spence fight. And maybe he'll see if he if he'll choose one of the opponents. Uh, if Errol Spence is the victor, he'll look into maybe fighting him. And uh, now you get Danny Garcia. But we saw Errol Spence come out and he stated that, you know, he'll fight Danny Garcia. If Danny Garcia have a belt, he don't have a belt because he have a name. So uh, he's definitely looking to make that fight. I don't think that, uh, I disagree with Danny Garcia. I don't think that um, uh, Errol Spence is uh, overrated at all whatsoever. whatsoever. I don't think that he's, over I think that uh, his style is avoided. A lot of guys avoid him because they quote unquote say he's a big welterweight, he's very strong, he's a southpaw, he could box and he could bang. So he's avoided in, um, because of those things, because he holds all those tangibles. But, you know, uh, for guys to say that he's overrated, I think is uh, um, an overstatement in itself, you know, because I think that um, none of these guys were too overly joyed to jump in the ring with Errol Spence. Nobody was eager to jump in the ring with him. Outside of Terrence Crawford, I didn't see any of these guys too eager to jump in the ring with him straight away. Uh, we saw guys like um, Sean Porter state that, you know, uh, I don't, and, I, and Sean Porter is the exception because I think that Sean Porter will fight Errol Spence when, whenever, wherever, right? I think that um, the politics of boxing got in the way with Sean Porter. Uh, Sean Porter, like he stated, he already had um, a goal. He already had a game plan. And uh, when it came to um, fighting Errol Spence, he just wanted to follow out and follow through with his already set game plan to um, to become a, a, um, a champion again. So he was chasing after Keith Thurman. He was chasing after Danny Garcia. He was more so chasing after the belts, opposed to chasing after one specific uh, guy in a division. Uh, he lost his belts to um, Kel Brook, which he felt like he didn't lose. It was a very, very close fight. He thought he won that fight. He thought um, the belt was taken from him, opposed to he losing it. And so with that said, you know, um, he was chasing, been chasing a belt ever since. Uh, at the time, Errol Spence didn't have a belt when he captured the IBF belt. One thing was a little bit shaky is when they said that they didn't want to enroll, this being Kenny Porter saying that he didn't want to enroll in the IBF um, ranking system. And they didn't want to lose their spot in the WBC ranking system, so on and so forth. Um, with that said, uh, at the end of the day, Sean Porter received and got back his and got the WBC belt and became a champion again. But I don't think Sean Porter was ever avoiding Errol Spence. I don't think that he just wasn't on his uh, in his game plan set forth, as he stated. Um, but you know, uh, let's see how this all plays out. Now everybody is saying that you know Errol Spence is uh, overrated. Is it the fact that he's the cash cow? He did a pay per view, uh, a successful pay per view. As Keith Thurman stated that he thought the, the pay-per-view was successful because of Mikey Garcia, you know, um, but I think it was successful because of Errol the True Spence Jr. But well, with that said, you know, um, let's see how this plays out. Are guys willing to fight Errol Spence Jr. because he now, um, you know, is, is going to be, is, seems to be on his way to being a pay-per-view star, seems to be on his way to being the cash cow, and now he's worth everybody's while to get step in the ring? I don't think that Danny Swift Garcia or Angel Garcia would be too willing to jump in the ring with Errol Spence if he dominates Sean Porter. But now he done opened his mouth and he's put his foot in his mouth, so to speak. Now he's gonna have to answer that bell. Should Errol, and Errol Spence already came out and said that he'll fight Danny Garcia with or without a belt. He don't mind taking that fight because he has a name. So let's see how this all plays out, man. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. Danny Swift Garcia says, Errol the True Spence Jr. is overrated. And his fight with Showtime... And his fight with Showtime Sean Porter is going to be a very ugly, ugly fight. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby, from the Empress. Much love.